This video is about how to act like a classy man. I will give you great tips on how to act and behave like a more classier gentleman in a not so classy world. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with my sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is down below. Not long ago, I texted the girl I was interested in to go out on a second date with me. She had been stringing me along for a while, played games, to the point where she replied, I've got a boyfriend now. It's probably best you don't get in touch with me. Stupidly and immaturely, I responded, Oh yeah? Well, I guess it will never last then. She proceeded to not respond or block me either, as she enjoyed the attention. In a little hurt and with a bruised ego, I shared the text with some of my friends to make them laugh. Some of them did, some were unfazed, but one guy was not impressed. She got what she deserves, didn't she? I said. A friend shook his head. I just thought you were a classier guy, SCG. Never mind. Ever since that conversation, I have not stopped thinking about my friend's comment, and have wanted to improve myself to be classy. In some instances and cases, I have been a classy man, but in others, sadly, I have not. What is a classy man? Being a classy gentleman means being intelligent, polite and distinguished. A classy man is occupied with doing the things he likes and wants. He has specific plans for the present, the future, and he has an aura in the way he carries himself. What is not a classy man? A guy who shows off to his friends some crappy and childish response to a woman who rejected him over text. But also, the classy man is not a pushover or the stereotypical nice beta male kind of guy. The classy man has high standards, stands up for what he genuinely believes in, and is willing to walk away from whoever or whatever if it suits his own wants, needs and plans. Remember this, you don't have to dress like James Bond or have an Aston Martin or a Bentley to have class. Class, in my personal opinion, is how you carry yourself and how you want to come across to all sorts of people. Yes, even the game players, the manipulators, the lowlifes, the toxic and narcissistic people in this world. So to cut a long story short, in my opinion, this is how to act like a classy man. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support the SCG show by becoming a channel member. The link is in the description below. When it comes to women, I believe that handling things like a gentleman and a classy man is a better thing to do than the opposite. Now, certain channels and advice might tell you to be very abrasive, very aggressive and fine. But I reckon being more confident and assertive in a classy way is the better approach. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're dating somebody like a narcissist, like I did, being classy is not going to do anything for you. Because these people are trash. These people are game players. These people bend your reality to the point where you crack. And you try to be a good man. You try to be a good person. And nothing is ever good enough because you're never going to be good enough for the wrong person. But regardless, let's say you're dating somebody or interested in someone who is not toxic, who seems quite cool and you'd like to get to know. Handle it with class, not just for her, but for your own state of mind. I went out on a date with a woman not long ago who was just a bit of a mess. She was quite rude on texts, she was quite distant. On the date, she answered a phone call, which I found to be extremely disrespectful. But I just sat there enjoyed my wine we actually kissed believe it or not and even when she ran off to go on the train she was a bit strange but she's 31 i'm 34 she wants to be immature good luck to her she texts me the next day it's not going to work out between us not interested don't contact me bye i just responded no worries wish you all the best it was lovely meeting you take care fast forward three weeks later who texts me this very woman and she said I'd like to apologize for how I acted on our date you came across so classy and I was a mess I'd recently lost somebody in my family I've not been in a good place 
Let me make it up to you. Let me take you out. I appreciated her honestly, but I declined to see her again as, you know, she's just not right for me. But that is evidence of what happens when you treat women with class. I'm not saying be walked over or be taken advantage of. It's only a first date. But treat women with class and be assertive and confident. Don't have the fight. Don't have the argument. Don't get aggressive and see what happens. Firstly, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about my official sponsor, BetterHelp. Your mental health is important to me. And I've personally used BetterHelp and found it very effective for turning my life around for the better and maintaining control over my mental health. BetterHelp is an online portal that provides direct to consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are provided through web-based interactions, as well as phone, video, and text communication. BetterHelp gives you four live sessions a month and unlimited messages in between sessions, as well as access to the group therapy webinars that are updated each and every week. You can sign up for BetterHelp by clicking on the link below and you'll be supporting the SCG Show community and on top of that, you'll get 10% off when you sign up. So turn your life around with my channel sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. Let's discuss style. As of 2022, I realized something that I'd never had in my life. I'd been getting more and more compliments on my looks and style. They'd say, your hair looks incredible. Your beard really suits you, very handsome. I love your sneakers, they suit you. I like the way you carry yourself, you look so cool. The answer was simple. The lockdowns and pandemic made me realize how desperately I needed to take care of my appearance. And the classy man looks good and makes an effort no matter what. My late father used to say, make sure you're always looking good because you never know who you might bump into and therefore you'd want to make a good first impression. Now, of course, you don't have to do this, but this is what I did to upgrade myself to a classier man overall. I focused on a hairstyle. I found a style that suited my face, my head, and stuck to it. On top of that, I go to my hairdressers once a week, either for a beard trim or to get a skin fade and haircut for the weekend. You may think this is excessive, but again, I've got more dates and compliments than ever before doing this. Clothing. I already had good suits and jumpers and jeans, etc. But something I really lacked in was in the shoes department. Now, I'm a bit of a Michael Jordan lover, so I invested good money in an entire collection of sneakers over the last two years. Long story short, I've had women and people come up to me on the street and say, I love your shoes. Where do you get them? You've got a cool style. Let's hang out. Body. I took a break from training in the pandemic, but I'm well and truly back into the swing of things with my routine at the gym. I've improved my posture, put on muscle, lost weight in areas that were lacking in my body. And I feel amazing because of the work and effort I've put in. Simply put, James Bond looks good in a suit and classy of course, but he also looks great without one, no homo, as should all classy men. Take some time to work on your style, head to toe. If you've got no hair, grow a beard. Learn how to grow a beard. Work on your physique, work on your clothing, work on your shoes. Get on top of your style right now. The classy man, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is intelligent, but you don't need a PhD or a master's. I dropped out of college twice. I've got no degree. I had bad grades in my senior level of high school. I have little to no education diplomas or certificates. Yet thanks to my tenacity to always be growing, learning and improving myself, I've achieved the following. I've been self-employed successfully for 12 years. I have two books I've written myself on Amazon. I created my own blog from scratch and written over 500 posts. I record, edit, publish and script all these videos on my channel. I've been the best man at people's weddings who have been doctors, lawyers, and lecturers. I have clients who pay me for coaching who are accomplished academics themselves. I've won awards for writing, my speaking, my work, and my contributions to the local community. 
Simply put, I am living proof that you do not need a formal education to ever stop learning. I read on average a book a month. I use YouTube to learn things I don't understand. When I meet experts in their fields, I ask questions to understand things better. If I am new to something, I will dive in deeper until I find a rhythm and a way that suits me and I'll change it and accommodate it to my own way of life. Take YouTube for example. Initially in 2020, I didn't have a bloody idea what I was doing. But I knew the more videos I created, the more I researched and the more persistent I was, the better chance for success I would have. That's why in 2021, my channel hit 1 million views in a single year, the most I ever had. The classy man is not arrogant and thinks he knows everything. In my opinion, he is a human sponge, always learning. He does not look down on people. He admires how others think. He assumes others know something that he may not. He is and can always be open-minded, willing to try different things from a new angle, as opposed to the delusional, narcissistic, entitled, arrogant man who's lazy. Do not be like the latter man. Be like the classy man, always learning, always adapting, always improving. To support my work, feel free to make a donation via PayPal. I'd really appreciate it. The link is in the description below. Lastly, confidence is the cornerstone of the classy man who ultimately believes in himself and his ability to do anything. I had to work very hard on this as there's a lot of people, ideals and manipulation to take you off course or defer you. I have sometimes been a shell of the real confident man I've used to be because other people would want me to aim low in life. When I was with that narcissistic girlfriend, I would talk to waiters, taxi drivers and so on. That's the sort of guy I am. But the toxic woman I dated would hate the attention not being on her. The longer I stayed, the more of a simp and a wimp I became. I'm social. I like talking to people, communicating, networking. I struggled for months after our split to get back to the man I used to be. The classy man who believed in himself no matter what. As I record this now in 2022, after the pandemic, losing my father and so on, I'm the most confident I've ever been in my life. I believe this comes from several places. Firstly, success. The growth of my newest business, The SCG Show, along with the amazing support and praise from my subscribers and viewers, has done me the world of good. When you know your hard work pays off, it makes you feel amazing. Next, losses and failures. Some may argue Failure is the greatest teacher. I would agree. The classy man picks himself up after a defeat and keeps going regardless and no matter how long it might take. Experience. I might come across very confident and forward when I'm on a date, but I never used to be when I was younger. It took me years of rejections, working on myself, setbacks, good and bad dates to get to the experience I am now. Experience molds a man especially a classy self-aware one. And lastly, moving forward. I am no pinnacle of class, but I'm ultimately quite addicted with doing my best to be as close to a high value status classy man as possible. And if I achieve this, and when I do, I'll be delighted. Also, if I can do this, there's no reason why you, the viewer, you the man who's been told you're not classy or never will be, can't do it either. Shift your belief, your mindset. Use this video as your final motivation. Here's a quick word from my sponsor, Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without having to visit a healthcare provider. Choose your test online and it's delivered to you in a discreet packaging with next day delivery. Once your sample arrives in the lab, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within days. Once your results are available, they'll be reviewed by a physician. A nurse will then contact you for a consultation over the phone. So Let's Get Checked lets you avoid uncomfortable office visits by providing you with access to home testing and professional medical consultations without ever having to leave your home. It's never been this simple to get tested. And you'll receive 30% off your kits by using the SCG Show links below. So if you want to get tested at home to check your health, simply visit Let's Get Checked. The link is in the description below. Hey, thanks so much for watching. 
be sure to comment, like and subscribe to my channel and here's some other videos that you may find of interest.